Hello, good morning students. We have discussed in this chapter about our rich culture, about our different languages which are practiced all over India. More than 200 languages are spoken all over the country. But the constitution of India has recognized 22 languages. Out of this, the two are our official languages. They are our Hindi and English. Children, we have different type of uh, dresses owned by men and women all over the country. We have different type of dances uh, practiced in our country like the folk dances or the classical dances. Similarly, music also have different forms like folk music and classical music. Children, we have different monuments all over the country from ancient to the modern period. Paintings are also great. We have the cave paintings from uh, the ancient period to the modern painting of Madhubani painting. So children, let us discuss an exercise which is given in your textbook. And just circle the correct words, page number 112. Okay? Let us find out what we have to serve. Hindi or Telugu is the official language of India. We all know that the official language, our language is Hindi, but English is also considered as official language. So there are two official languages uh, in India, that is Hindi and English. Here they have mentioned Hindi, so we will circle Hindi. Now Telugu. Telugu is uh, actually the language spoken in English. Okay, coming to second one, women or men wear turbans. If I show you the picture, already you have seen this and you know that. Who are the ones who wear turbans, children? As you can see, this man is wearing a turban. So it is actually man or men. Men wear turban. Women generally they cover their head in sari or hair. Number three, dances performed on festivals are called classical dance or folk dance. As you know, there are different classical dances like Bharatanatyam, Kathakali, Mohini Atyam, Kuchipuri. Then we have Manipuri dance or we have the Kathak and Odisha. They are classical dance. And folk dances are the those dances which we perform during some festival like harvest festival or maybe some religious festivals or maybe ceremonies at our home. So children, dances perform on festivals. Okay? It can be any type of festival. It can be uh, some religious festival or harvest festival or any other type of festival are called folk dances. Okay? Coming to the fourth one, children, classical music are of two types or three types. We have already discussed that classical music are of two types, isn't it? They are Hindustani classical music, which is uh, practiced in the northern part of India. And we have Carnatic classical music, which is practiced in southern part of India. Okay? So these are the two forms of classical music. They are Hindustani and Carnatic. Three. Coming to the fifth one, children, the stupa of Sachi was built by Emperor Ashoka or Kanga. Now, this is your Sachi stupa. Already you have seen this Sachi stupa, children, in front of you. And it was built by Emperor Ashoka, okay, when he became the follower of Gautam Buddha, okay. And as you know, upwards great, um, there are many. Out of them, we have discussed about Patipur Sikri, isn't it? So, this is Abbas. Okay, Ashoka built this stupa of Sanchi. So, it is Emperor Ashoka. Okay, whom we will study in the higher classes. He was the great ruler, one of the greatest ruler of India, and he was uh, a Mauryan ruler. The, they, their dynasty belonged to Mauryan dynasty. Okay. So these are your answers, children. The first one, Hindi is the official language of India. Number two, men wear turbans. Number three, dances performed on festival are called folk dances. Number four, classical music is of uh, three types or two types. It is two types. Okay, the answer is two types. And the fifth one, the stupa of Sachi was built by Emperor Ashok. Okay, so these are your 
answers please do it in your textbook and it is in page number 102 thank you